We're back with that time I got reincarnated as a slime. We're heading into a big war arc, you could say. There's a lot of demon lords out there. Some really powerful people are coming into play. I cannot wait to see what's about to go down. But before we jump into it, let me remind you at 5,000 subs, we will be doing my reaction videos for a whole week cosplaying as hisoka so make sure to hit that sub button but let's go ahead and jump into it i'm, I'm curious i want to know what's going to go down i want to see rimuru's power oh yeah we did get this this doom warning last episode oh diablo diablo ain't playing Is, isn't isn't she a demon lord as well yeah, there you go. I remember. I remember they said she was a demon lord. They're all going to be blown away. They're all going to be blown away. Another demon lord. One of the ten. See, I forgot about that. Who are the ten great demon lords and how powerful are they? I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, you can't really compare uh, the appearance of a demon lord to Veldora. Oh, wait till she finds out. Oh, she's, ta she's talking mad crap, too. <laughs> wait till she finds out. Yeah, she, she ain't laughing no more, is she? <laughs> okay, I, I didn't expect that. She completely fainted. Oh, man, I, I'm gonna watch the opening. I still haven't seen the opening, this opening at least. But it looks, it looks absolute fire. I actually want to see it before, you know, sometime. Are they, are they finally about to have this meeting? Because I feel like it's been postponed like 20 times. Okay, okay, that all makes sense. So that their their story is gonna line up. <laughs> uh, she's she's essentially sleeping on top of a manga pile. That is true. That's one of the reasons Falmouth tried to attack Tempest. Nah, nah. Yeah, you wouldn't trust them. I, I agree with that. And, and the fact that Veldora is back there just reading manga. And I wonder if somebody recognizes that character. Like, I wonder if they're referencing actual uh, mangas in the real world. That is true. They, they won't attack Tempest that easily. Yep. 
Yo, he's going all out. <laughs> Yo, he's going all out. They're like brothers, you could say, right? So yeah, that, that's why he's king. He's smart. He knows how he know he knows how to run a kingdom. He's been doing it for a long time. I want to know how strong Clayman is compared to Rimuru. Like, is Rimuru gonna go in there and just wipe him out? Is it gonna be that easy, or is he actually gonna struggle? He's got my vote. He's got my vote. He's going to be the one that's going to be king of Falmouth. Reparations. I wonder how much that's going to be. I don't think they're going to have an option. Oh, yo, I didn't even know, I didn't even know Rimu was this smart, right? Like he just came from like another world where he was like a salary man. And look at him now. He's literally running a kingdom and about to essentially create a civil war in another kingdom. Hmm. I also want to know how strong this guy actually is. Like a test. Obviously, this is a test. And I do think he's a great character. Like, I do think he's willing to sacrifice himself for his people. If it comes down to it. Yep, he, I, I, I trust him. I trust him 100%. But yeah, I want to know how King Gazelle, is that how you say his name? Gazel, whatever, Gazelle, I don't know. But I want to know how strong he actually is as well. Like, is he even compared to Rimuru? Can he actually fight Rimuru? He's definitely... <laughs> He just keeps saying that. That's a lot. That's a lot. I feel like there's a great alliance right here. Uh, you know, it's built on trust. I feel like everybody here trusts each other. And that's probably one of the most important things, I think, whenever it comes to an alliance. You can't, you can't be mistrusting your, your, uh, your alliance, right? Like the people in your alliance, like thinking they're going to betray you. Mm-mm. That won't last long. Oh, do they consider that a betrayal? Really? A little overkill if you ask me. Man, they're really, they're really going all out and using the kingdom of Falmouth to their advantage. Which I'm pretty sure it's going to be easy because I believe in one of the, the first half of the season, they said uh, Falmouth was like a, one of the biggest trade countries in the world. So, Blumund. I don't, I don't remember anything about Blumund. Oh, is that the kingdom he's from?
So he has a lot of influence to make those calls. That's good. I'm t I, I really don't think anybody can stop Rimuru. Like, how strong are they going to have to be? Like, this alliance is completely OP. And of course, of, what, what's his name? Gom is it Gomta? I believe it's Gomta, ain't it? Falling asleep. Wait, what was the secret? I think I missed it. What was the secret? I need to see what that secret was. Oh, skip back. Oh, okay. So we got some family ties in here. Again, it comes back to trust. I wonder how long all of this is going to take. I gotta say, I, I am a little disappointed that we still haven't seen Rimuru's true power. Or at, the, or at the very least, just see how much stronger he's gotten. I believe since the season started, which is what, like four or five episodes now? Uh, we really haven't seen too much. They're talking about all these plans. I'm sure it's going to be a great buildup, but I want to see some action. Again, it goes back to trust. I'm guessing it's going to be his turn to start. Oh, what is what is this all about? Is there some truth to that? Okay, so it seems like the leaders of Blue Mond, they uh they're capable. Okay, okay, I respect that. It makes sense. Look at Tempest. Wow, do they really not like the church that much? It makes sense. I'm telling you, I, I would love to have Rimuru as an ally. I feel like my nation will be safe. Especially now with Wadora there. Mm-mm. <laughs> like, this man is stressed out. The king of the nation himself. Are we about to meet this man? Because from what I've heard from this conversation, I like the dude. I mean, does the church have so much power? That they're worried into getting into like a relationship with uh, Tempest.
This should be interesting. <laughs> imagine, imagine having your dad there, embarrassing you. It doesn't matter what your parents do, they will always embarrass you. Don't tell me he's gonna ask his for Rimuru to take his daughters. Oh, what is this? Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? Okay, very important question. I want to know too. Very noble. And, and he's done that. He's done that with... I mean, with the amount of power that he had. And now with this new power, he's probably going to be able to do that with the world. It's definitely idealistic, right? But I feel like in this world, if you have the power to essentially submit everybody into your control, you'll be able to do whatever you want. And I'm not saying Rimuru is going to do that, like essentially force everybody to submit to his will. Uh, I think he's just going to create like his country, like his kingdom, Tempest, but worldwide. So yeah, essentially everybody's on board with the plan. There's a lot of buildup. I'm sure all of this is going to pay off later on. Another great alliance. Or another great nation joins the alliance. I wonder how many kingdoms are there. Like how many great kingdoms are in this world. Because essentially once they all have like one big alliance. That's like world peace right? And the sorceress dynasty of Tilion. Yeah Blumon. So they're going to have Blumon, Dwargan. Uh, they're gonna control Falmouth whenever they insert the fake king and then they have the sorceress kingdom. I forgot the name already uh, So that's four. Oh, And they're also in a Did he leave out the beast kingdom with the other demon lord? It's a demon lord who commands many Majin. We saw that. We saw that. That's how, that's how he became a demon lord. Hopefully next episode we actually start, you know, moving towards the direction of the war to go against uh, Clayman. Because I feel like this last couple of episodes, there's been a lot of talk. And I don't mind it because I like the content. I like what they're talking about. I like what they're setting up. But I can see how some other people, they might, you know, they, they might not like it because they want to see some action. For his awakening. Awakening to what? A demon lord? I thought he was already a demon lord. Uh, yeah, what happened to that pact when Milam went after the other demon lord? Oh, 
Oh, he doesn't know. That's right. He doesn't know that she's actually like... I wouldn't say spying, but she actually turned sides. Rimuru gave her a new heart. I don't think this guy's gonna stand a chance against Rimuru. Like the fact that, you know, the other people were warning Rimuru about his power and all the powerful magic that he has. I feel like that's to let us know that this guy is no joke. This guy is for real. He's a big deal. But I think, I think Rimuru is going to just one shot him to show just how strong he really is. One of the ancient demon lords, President Kasarem. Who's Kasarem? I feel like I, I don't remember any of these names. And how is, how is he controlling Milo? Could Milam be controlling him? I, I, I believe they said Milam was one of the strongest demon lords. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on here with the power dynamic. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see where this is going. Do we have after credit scenes? Let's see. It doesn't look like it. Nah, we don't have any after credit scenes. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and switch up real quick. I mean, episode, what is it? Episode 39 of that time I got reincarnated as Islam. It was a good episode. Again, I feel like they're talking way too much. I kind of wish it would be a little bit more fast paced, right? Because I, all the talks that are happening right now about the, the plan to conquer or insert the uh, Yum as the fake king for uh, uh, Falmouth and, and all the different alliances that are being made, all the plans with Valdora and, and declaring to the world that Rimuru is a demon lord, all this stuff. It's, it's great. I like it. I love the content. I love all this lore because it's creating a world where there's a lot of lore and I love it. I love it. I love reading about the demon lords, the history and stuff like that. I usually get go on Wikipedia and learn uh, some stuff, but I don't want to do that because, you know, I don't want to be spoiled. I'm sure if I go into, into like the, uh, that time I got reincarnated as Islam Wikia and I start reading about Milam's uh, past, which I definitely want to uh, know about if I start reading into Clayman and how he became a demon lord and stuff like that. I'm going to get spoiled uh, massively, and I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, but it's something that I, I, I love. I, I love the world that, that that time I got reincarnated as Islam is set in. I love the talks that they're having, but I definitely want to see Rimuru in action. I want to see what he's capable of. I want to see that great animation. I want to see a top-tier fight. And it's been a while since we got on one, right? I mean, the last fight that we got was literally uh, at the end of the first half of Season 2, when essentially... Rimuru became a demon lord and even that fight it was so one-sided it wasn't even funny I actually want to see Rimuru fight somebody and it looks like it's gonna be claiming that is at the very least some type of a challenge to him like I definitely want to see Rimuru literally go all all out against an opponent and that opponent be able to withstand uh that fight i know we had that fight with the uh the member of the church uh what was her name hinata was it hinata i believe it was and that fight of course it was amazing but i want to see like real stakes fight one where you know rimuru is trying to kill the opponent and the opponent oh i mean i guess hinata was trying to kill rimuru but hey I just want to see a really, really top tier fight. It's going to be great. But yeah, this, this episode really, I could see how some people might be disappointed in it. I know in the first half of season of season two, I was kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say bored, but I feel like it was definitely extremely uh, slow pace. And a lot of people in the comments back then when I was making those videos, they were telling me, don't worry, it's about to go down. And when it went down, it went down and I was not disappointed. So I'm pretty sure the same thing is going to happen in the second part of season two. Once it goes down, it's going to go down. So I'm excited. But let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. And if you know exactly how long it's going to be before we start getting into like the big stuff, definitely let me know in the comments. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.